Alright, in this video we're going to be removing the conductor plate with the valve body. This is off a 2008 CL63 AMG. So we're going to start out by removing the oil pan. We're using an E10. I'm not really sure on the name on these, but it's this kind of socket. We had the oil drain before, but it's still gonna have a little bit of oil inside. So, uh, you would have to drain the oil before, and draining oil, you could use this right here. It's an Allen wrench. I don't remember the size on it. So I'll do that before you take off the oil. Make sure you unplug the conductor plate plug. So this is going to be your oil filter. This is your valve body. And that's your conductor plate inside. To get to the conductor plate, you do have to remove the valve body completely. The oil filter just slides out. It's pretty easy. Just make sure you have a good oil pan ready because it's pretty messy. Alright, now we're going to be using a T30 Twix. So the screws you have to remove is these. So just make sure you don't mix them up with these because this is the one that's holding the whole valve body together. So make sure you remove these. They're kind of rounded off. Okay, so that's the last screw for us. moving it to the side a little bit to drain more of the oil. Alright, so the most important part is make sure you use something to press down on this uh, plug. It has to come out with the whole assembly down. Uh, there's going to be O-rings around this so it kind of sits in there pretty good. There's orange O-rings right there. Um, if you just pull on it, you will break the conductor plate plug. And it's going to be basically trash. I'm just draining some of the oil out of it. Alright, so this is your valve body, the metal part. And the upper plastic piece, this is going to be your conductor plate. The conductor plate is registered to your vehicle with a specific VIN number, well programmed. So you can just switch over a transmission. If it's a 7229 transmission, you can just switch it over and start the car and drive. You're going to have to have the conductor plate uh, flashed, virginized, and then it's have to get adapted to your vehicle, to your specific VIN number. And that's the only way. So if you're buying a used transmission, it's not going to work unless you have the conductor plate programmed to your vehicle. But if you're getting a used transmission, you could always swap your old conductor plate into the new transmission and it's already programmed to your vehicle and unless the conductor plate is faulty.
And there's two models. There's a Continental and then there's the Siemens. And one way, well, there's three versions. So this is a version two. Um, the version one is not going to have anything, so it's just going to be blank. So they have two, three. And these are your solenoids, ship solenoids. There's total six. There's black and green caps. Alright, so now we're going to be removing the conductor plate off the valve body. We're using a T30 Torx. So once you unscrew it, unscrew the solenoids, it just pops out. We're going to put the solenoids back in place, that way they don't get mixed up. Alright, so this is your conductor plate. And this is your valve body. And one way to identify which transmission you have, which model. Um, obviously you could do it by VIN number, but just to look up under the car, it's gonna be on the driver's side. And it's gonna be this kind of placard right here. And the uh, model number is the one on the bottom, or the middle, the 7229. So it's a 7G transmission, 7229070. Uh, that's going to identify which model of transmission you have, if it's the AMG model or not. Uh, this is the AMG model. Uh, the regular ones are going to be a little bit different, different serial numbers. So again, driver's side. It's going to be right there. And if you have this, the 5G transmission, I believe it was like somewhere towards the back on the driver's side. Uh, it's a similar process, but it's going to be 7226 something something.